if you weren't watching it live, sorry to say you missed our little banter in the beginning, but we're recording now, so this is officially on the VOD. Guys, you already know what it is. Alright, who's first time? Who's a first time viewer? You know, I love you guys that are here at, like, have been to multiple, but I gotta ask. I gotta make sure we got some new people in the chat, too. By the way, is, is vertical, horizontal, or square drawing? Oh, uh, it's, uh, you could do this on a square for sure. Mine is, hor mine is, a uh, horizontal. It's a rectangle. It's like 1920 by, you know, whatever. Me, sir. Okay, first time. Oh, my God. First time. First, oh, amazing. Been meaning to catch you live. Dude incredible first time or wow thank you guys second time that's great too long time art appreciator first time drawer that's what's up so i'm gonna give you the, i can do the same spiel all right every time <laughs> don't ban them <laughs> not first time but i did take a break and it's nice to see a bunch of folks on here yeah it's, it's great i'm really i'm been so happy with the turnout i mean listen even if it was just three you guys i'm still just having so much fun doing this like I don't know why I didn't start sooner. It's so much fun. I love doing the I love doing the drawings. I love interacting with the chat. I mean, this whole thing is awesome. So, these are the Beetle Commandments. All right, this I say this should be. Of course, you can just watch if you just want to chill with us. That's fine too. But if I would love if you guys wanted to draw along with us, because then we can all draw together, and then I can see your drawings at the end. And I'm gonna go really slow so we can all. I lost my pen, so we can all work on it together. But before we start, these are the Beatle Commandments. I'm new, Lead Hound. Shout out. We are recording. Yes. I'm going to draw on a tiny ass notepad. This will be an adventure. It's not too complicated of a drawing, so I certainly think you'll be able to do it. Uh, okay, these are the commandments. Number one, don't be too hard on yourself. This is kind of the most important one. All right? If you're drawing along, which I really would love if you draw it along, we're going to go slow. The bottom line is that we are doing this for fun. So, when you send me your drawings afterwards or you post them to Twitter, which I love. If you post them to Twitter, you already know. I'm going to retweet it. If you're too shy, right? If you don't want to post it, if you're a little self-conscious, I understand. Okay? No problem. But, if you DM me and you just want a little bit of, like, advice or something like that, I'm going to I'll, I'll give you, I'll give you, like, a helpful criti critique for sure. But I don't want you to message me something like... Mine sucks, mine came out like shit, I suck at art, I suck at life, like all that stuff. Not helpful, right? Not helpful. If you're not happy with how it came out, just message it to me and be like, hey, I was following along, but I'm really not happy with how this came out. Can you give me any advice on how to fix it? I'm going to tell you. I get a lot of messages. I love you guys, so I know a lot of you guys message me. I don't always mess message back right away, but I promise I will send you one back. So, uh... I'm happy to help you out. But the bottom line is that we're just doing this for fun. So please don't be too hard on yourself. Okay. Number two, go at your own pace. I'm going to draw things super slow, pretty slow at least, right? So you guys can follow along. This is for all skill levels. So if you've never even picked up a pen and drawn anything in your life, I still think you'll be able to follow along. But if I do something too fast, if I'm breezing through it, if something didn't make sense, you know, if I don't explain something right, I'm watching the chat. Just tell me to do it again. I'll go back and I'll, I'll run through it again even slower. But the bottom line is go at your own pace. Don't be embarrassed to message in the chat if you need me to do something again. And number three, try new things. That's how you get better. I can almost guarantee none of you guys have drawn Heisenberg and Jesse Pinkman copy Barra. Barra? Barra? Anyway, pretty sure this is new. But it's certainly the first time that we as a group have drawn copy Barras in any Barra. Capybara. It's the first time that we've drawn these animals as a group. So, we're sticking to our credo. And of course, I know I say this all the time. Some of you guys, I'm a little disappointed, have not listened to uh, my advice. But you should be drawing all the time. If you can draw for 15 minutes a day, just things that you like, you don't even have to challenge yourself, you're going to get into flow. And the more practice you get in, the better you're going to get the more confident your line work is going to be, all those little things. All right? So anyway, the reason I said that, try new things. It's how you get better. Even when we're not streaming, I would love to see if you guys are drawing something. If you send it to me, even if I don't respond right away, I will see it. 
Okay, let me get rid of this. And remember, I said this last time, but I know some of you guys maybe didn't, weren't here last time or whatever. I get a lot of, um, when I do get messages from you guys and you're not sure, like, you need advice. I want to make sure this is working. If you need advice, a lot of the advice that I give you guys, of course, is to practice. But the other thing is that when you're following along and you feel like things aren't like looking quite right or they're not laid out right, something's not there, right? It's usually because you're following me a little too blindly. And what I mean by that is that before you draw something on your paper, I want you to look at how I do it, right? I'm gonna sort of explain it in my own little way, how to do it, I'm gonna draw it really slowly. But before you draw it on your paper, I don't want you to be looking at my drawing while you're drawing. I want you to look at how I did it. I want you to look at your drawing and be like, okay, how is this shape or line going to fit into my drawing as is? And it doesn't have to look perfect. It doesn't have to look exactly like mine. But the point is that your drawing is naturally going to be a little bit different than mine and you should be accommodating your own picture, right? You should be using me as a reference but you still should take that just two seconds, look at your paper, think, okay, how am I gonna fit that shape into this drawing? How's it gonna look? Where do I want it to start? Where do I want it to end? If you're a first time drawer, I promise you taking that extra second is gonna help you a lot in just framing things out. And as we go, as we go on, as you keep practicing, you won't need that second, it'll be more natural. Okay, let's get started. Ready? Beetle Gang. Oh my god, I got both mods in the chat. We're gonna I'm gonna plot this out really quick just so you guys can get an idea. This is gonna be Capybara 1. This is Heisen Heisen Heisenbara. And this is Capybara to oh see, even I didn't give myself enough room. The whole point is it should be 50-50. So that was not even a good example. But make sure we're gonna draw Heisenberg first. He fits on this side. Jesse Pinkman is on this side. Leave a little room up top. I'm going to write that copy bar thing up there too. Or you can put it wherever. But when we start with this drawing, just make sure you're giving yourself enough room. Ready? Everybody has your pen and paper. I know that was a long spiel. We're going to start with this. All right? Little rounded rectangle. Let's cook. Rounded rectangle. A little line. And another rounded rectangle. Easy. You guys already know. That's a little glasses. And I find this is an important feature that when you're drawing copy bars, you have to make them look really like bored. I don't know why, they just never really look enthused. So it's a line and a little dot underneath. And the same thing on this side, line, dot underneath. Jesse, it's time to draw Jesse. Okay. I don't want to do the hat. And we'll come back to the hat. His snout is also like a little rounded rectangle. Your stream keeps freezing. Is it on my end or is it on your end? Today's prompt. Capybara, Heisenberg, and Jesse Pinkman. Oh my god, my mod is getting crazy here. I don't have enough paper. It's fine for me. I don't have enough paper. What do you mean? Get some mo. Got this? And it just curves in, right? It's, it's sort of a rectangle shape, but remember, round. More rounded than a rectangle. And it really only just comes into it a little bit, because copy bars have that kind of upper lip thing. It's fine for me, Mr. White. Their nose is just these two lines, kind of a snout that's like peeking in. <laughs> I 
Okay. It's so funny. I'm just looking at my drawing. It's a funny drawing. And then bottom lip. Just like that. <laughs> Isn't that a funny face already? <laughs> I know. OMG, it's adorable already. I know. Something about this face is so funny. <laughs> I am... The I am the one who opts out. <laughs> I'm trying to think of like what's like a what's that whole monologue that he says? Somebody hops out at our after party and you think that of me? No. I am the one that hops out. Okay, I pull up. <laughs> Hello, Mr. Beetle. I finally made a stream. Let's go. My God. You know, I gotta say, the only people that I love just as much as you guys that are here all the time are first-time viewers, baby. I just love you all so much. Yo, Mr. White. I'm a small bean, yo. <laughs> yo, Mr. White. This is great content. How often do you stream like this? Two times a week. Monday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard, like this time right now, Heisenbara. And Wednesdays at 8 p.m. Now, I know I keep... Let me just draw this next thing, and I'll tell you what I'm thinking about, because I know we've been frozen here for a while. Now, it's not connected, all right? Give yourself a little bit of room. I'm drawing an oval shape, but notice that it's, I'm not connecting it. Actually, you can connect it to the glasses, but leave some room on this side. It's just an oval shape, but think not here and not here. Okay, I'm going to make that shape again. Oh, that thing's frozen. Yeah, make sure you make it out a little bit, though, because he's got that hat. Funny hat. I know I've been talking about doing these on Fridays at, uh, like, during the afternoon, because I do, I get a lot of people, I know every, every time I post, I get some, some of my European followers that are like, can you please do these at a time that is not fucking 4 a.m. for me? And I do feel bad, right? It's just that this is the, this is the time that fits for me. But, that being said, I actually am going to make this ear come all the way up. Okay, look. I drew this little line to connect the hat. I love my European fans. It's just I don't love the time zone over there. It's not really easy for me to fit in. I know, you know, I am a full-time artist, right? I'm doing this full-time, so my schedule is in some ways flexible. But, I'm fucking busy, dude. Got a lot of shit going on. I mean, I'm trying to, like, you know, the afternoons get busy for me. And I've talked about on Friday afternoon that I'd like to fit in, a t like, a 2 p.m. -er or something like that. I may not be able to make it a consistent part of the rotation, but... Time zones be quirky. Do you guys see how I did that, by the way? Straight line all the way up through the hat. You missed a bit? What part did you miss? It's alright, this bit is a little bit like, eh, I'm kind of like smudging the rules a bit by adding his ears poking up through the top, but I think it's important that you see him. To be fair, this is worth staying until like 1 a.m. for it. I appreciate you saying that, but the, other, but the other thing is that, honestly, some of these guys are not, it's not even 1 a.m., it's like fucking way later than that. I feel like my computer's lagging, I just want to close out of some shit here. Can I close out of this window? I'm going to close out of my internet browser. I think, like, when I post the the things that are like, oh, yeah, I'm starting at... Oh, guys, by the way, look. Just make little line up, little line up, and then round across the top. That is that Heisenberg hat. I 
I think it's like yeah, it's like four or five a.m. by the time I start these. I understand not being able to catch them, but I just have other people that are even American and just are like, I can't catch them. I have like, you know, work the next day really early. Two twenty one right now in Germany, but I work nights anyway, so I don't mind. Baba Duck, you know how much love I got for you. Just a line across the top here, by the way. Same curve, sort of shape. That's crazy, man. I'm, I'm, I'm seriously an old man too, cause I'm like, after this stream, I'm like, honk shoe, honk shoe, snore me, me, me mode. You feel me? I'm like in bed with a cup of peppermint tea and a good book <laughs> at like ten. <laughs> On Saturday, I got like. I got invited to, like, go out. Like, out, out. Which I haven't done in a while. And I'm already like, oh my god, man. You're gonna have to stay up past fucking 11.30. Alright, here we go. How's the stream quality, by the way? Am I lagging, or is, it, is my... Comp I just want to make sure, am I still... Does everything look okay? I don't want to be, like, laggy. Seems alright. I feel like my... Quality looks okay? Okay, okay. There's a little bit of a lag, but it's fine. Hmm. Everything is looking good. Okay, okay. Thank you. All good. Alright. I think it's just my OBS. Not boost streams. All good. Okay, thank you guys. Alright, here's how we're going to make the beard. Now, when I'm drawing a beard on a guy... Alright, here's Heisenberg. Could you do a tutorial on being funny sometime? Definitely not. I don't know the first thing about being funny. Here's Heisenberg. Here's Heisenberg before he gets cancer. No, I shouldn't joke about that. It's more like, here's Heisenberg before he decides to become a drug dealer. And then he becomes a drug dealer. And he looks like this. But what we're going to focus on here is this little goatee. Alright. Here's how it's going to fit around this thing. Hello chat. At Beetlemojish. How you doing? Amogus. We're going to start with this little sideways... It's a curved rectangle. <laughs> Instructions unclear. Curved rectangle shape. And then a bit on the side, too. See how I did that? It's curvy. And then line down. I heard you broke Boosh's streamer. That's so funny. I seriously did, like, sometimes if I just log in, if I open up, sometimes when I'm drawing, I'll listen to music, and sometimes if I'm not trying to listen to music, I'm watching a YouTube video. So today, I opened YouTube, and I saw Varsh was live. So I was like, oh, let me hop in there, let me see what's going on. And I hopped in there, and I said one thing, I was like, damn, Vosh, Vosh be looking cute. And I swear to God, like, two seconds after I said that, the stream froze, everything crashed, like, it all went down, like, you... Uh, and they were blaming me in the chat for it. A couple people were like, why did you do this? I was like, what the fuck happened? Look how I'm doing this. Line down, line across, line up. Arbitrary. I don't really don't know how it happened. And he jumped back in for a second. It, kept, it went down like three times. And I was enjoying watching the chat because as soon as it crashed... The chat was going crazy. Everybody was like, rip, 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 F, F, F. Like, all this crazy shit. And I was just enjoying watching the chat. And he jumped back in for a second, and he was like, man, that was weird. And then it froze again. And he came back, and he was like, guys, I gotta cancel the stream. And everybody was really disappointed. And I texted him, and I was just like, bro, I'm sorry. I literally hopped in for two seconds. Sorry, I know I'm not, I haven't really been walking you guys through this here, but I'm making sort of a rectangle that connects to the middle of the lip here. See that? And then another... Make this kind of a rounded rectangle. <laughs> ah, that looks so funny. <laughs> I 
you know it's a good drawing you know it's a good comic if you're like you know Google McGee while you're working on it that means it actually is funny how are you guys how are you guys looking on the facial hair kind of looks like a seed right now he does he does kind of look like that. A Hasid would be the full beard and he would have these too. You know, I looked up one time why the uh, Hasidic Jews wear the hats that are like the really fuzzy ones. If any of you guys either live in, I mean, you really see them more in Brooklyn. You don't see them too much anywhere else, but a lot of Hasidic Jews in like Williamsburg, Brooklyn area. And they wear these really big fuzzy hats. And I was like, why the hell do they wear those? I looked them up. They're like, you got to look it up. Like Hasidic Jews and they wear these giant, they look like they're made out of like a fucking like ox. I was like, why do you wear that? What is the significance? And I looked it up and it's literally just like, because it looks cool, Lamal. Like there's like, there was no lot. Like I was like, what? There's no like biblical. There's not, there's nothing. It was just like, it's just fashionable. Mine's looking kind of goofy right now. I mean, look at mine, dude. So I think they're just going to be looking goofy. Give yourself some room, all right? We're now going to officially frame. Yeah, they wanted an upscale to keep it. That's pretty much what it is. We are now going to frame where the floor of the drawing will be because we're going to draw his foot, first foot. So we're going to draw his foremost leg, which is just a straight line down. I'm just going to give him like a kind of a, cloven hoof even though they they do have like paws but mm. my mom told me the first time i saw a hasidic jew i called them abe Lincoln. it is a bit strange to see a hasidic jew for the first time i mean i am jewish so like i'm fairly familiar with it you know I, was, I had like rabbis around me occasionally when i was going to hebrew school and stuff even though those guys aren't really hasidic usually but yeah moving in moving to new york was definitely like holy shit there's a lot of fucking hasidic jews out here i think i was like six to be fair yeah dude we've all got those uh i can't believe i said that when i was five moments you guys got this leg and then you see how i just did this curve down All I know is that since my dad is non-observant Jewish, I get to have latke and applesauce yearly. Let's go. It's the best part of being Jewish. Latkes. All non-Jews in the chat, missing out. Latkes are fire. I mean, you could just get them. But it's not the same. Line down. Another little foot. By the way, maybe I'm breezing through that little foot thing. But I'm basically just drawing like a, think of it like a, J, it's a backwards kind of like J shape almost. I'm just drawing two of them, like right on top of each other. Just like U, U, see? Sideways U, sideways U. Why does mine somehow look like Peter Griffin? Mine kind of looks like Peter Griffin a little bit. And here, draw this other line straight up. Wait, I'm so left out, what? What's a latke? It's a potato pancake. They're really good though. They usually are like seasoned and then you either have, every, every Jew has a preference. You either eat it with applesauce or eat it with sour cream. Sweet, savory. I'm not, I don't have a sweet tooth. I've always been a sour cream type of dude. But applesauce is all right, I guess. Are you sweet toother? I have the opposite of a sweet tooth. I just like, I almost never crave sweets. The only sweet that I crave. By the way, give yourself a little room, but this is his his haunch, like his back leg. It's this backwards C shape down about here to where the legs are. Because remember, his other foot is going to be on the same plane as that one. Backwards C. Madre Mothra, Afternoon Harris, hope all is well. How you doing? How you doing? Madre Mothra. That's the OG. They're in the Cold Cuts Patreon. 
which has been very fun. We do Jackbox over there. I'm an atheist and we don't have much cool stuff. Oh my science. You guys have cool stuff. You guys have space and the Big Bang. <laughs> I believe in that stuff anyway. Okay, ready? Hook shape for the back of the foot. Hook shape. You, you, you. Little foot. Oh my evolution. <laughs> Doing all right, just trying to get streaming stuff all taken care of. Oh my, Charles Darwin. <laughs> Are you streaming too, Madre Mothra? Let me tell you, every day I am learning something new about this gosh dang platform. You know, I did actually at the, uh, starting a new job on Saturday so I can subscribe to the Cold Cuts Patreon. Let's go. Oh my, Reddit? Not to you, Bing Bong. That's not Reddit. That's the opposite of Reddit. But that, oh my, Reddit? Oh my god, Reddit. Dude, I was talking to, um... Here, wait, hang on a sec. See this, bit, this back of the foot? Line up. Pity on Sunday, so... Hmm. Look, guys. Hold on to your wallets, alright? I'm not, I'm not telling you. You ain't gotta spend any more money on me, alright? I'm just happy you're here. But I do just want to show something off. It's really cool. I finally got these effing stickers in the mail which are included they're not for sale technically but they are in, I include them in every print order anytime you order a print I throw one of these bad boys in there check it out I posted these to Instagram I don't think I posted them on uh... lol you said doo doo <laughs> don't send me money but <laughs> <laughs> I got a whole bunch of them. I ordered, uh, well, now I probably have close to like 50 left, I think, because I did send a bunch of. Hello? Wait, sorry, guys, I'm getting a call. Hello? Base department? Oh, they had the wrong number. I'm trying to start streaming more consistently on YouTube again. I sent an email to Blank Banshee to see who would use. For That's awesome. Streaming is really fun. I, I had to, my moderator in the chat here, I had to, had to have many long phone calls with him about how to like actually get this streaming shit working because I am such a caveman. The base department called, they're asking for their CEO back. I need a pay raise. Look guys, small curve. Think about also same, whoops, not like that. See how this line goes through here picture how this one's going up and over to where the capybara's ass is it would be right here to about there oh blank banshee i do know blank banshee that's awesome not personally but i do know their music they're good. That'd be sick. You could get them on there, or get let the, let them use your thing. I had some interaction. I follow them on here also. They, I think they go by Vectroid Live on Twitch, but you guys might know them as um, Macintosh Plus. That's how I knew them. See, I'm also doing this little curved triangle for the little nubby tail. Macintosh Plus uh, was their. That was the sort of pseudonym they were going for when they made this Vaporwave album called uh, The Floral Shop, which I think is probably the most popular, sort of the most well, e easily recognized um, Vaporwave albums. It's got this very cool cover. You look up Floral Shop, Floral Shop, Macintosh Plus. Vector, yeah, yeah, can't wait for the next... Macintosh Plus release. Dude, I gotta fucking brag. This was the craziest moment. This was one of the first, like, holy shit moments when I was on Twitter and I was posting comics. I posted that one that was a Peter Griffin floral shop. Like, I did the floral... I did the floral shop album cover, but with Peter Griffin's face instead of the, like, Roman statue or whatever. And, um... I got retweeted and followed by Vectroid, or by Macintosh Plus. 
Fun fact, the bust on the cover is the god Helios. That's awesome. And I was very, like, starstruck at that moment because I was like, holy shit, especially because that album is just so ethereal and, like, (laughs) it's hard to imagine that a human being actually made it. It's just been floating around the internet for the better part of a decade and, like, it's... I don't know. And so when, uh... When they retweeted me, when she retweeted me, I was like, yo, what the... That's crazy. Followed them, messaged them. I was like, thank you so much. We exchanged a couple messages. I know the stream on here. Um, super. They were super friendly, super cool. And it was the first time that I felt like a little bit starstruck. It's the first time that I mentioned somebody, by the way, like a little curve for the butt. First time that I mentioned somebody on, I have Floral Shop on vinyl, that's so sick. Mentioned somebody on my comics and they like showed up to the party curve going the other way to connect to this and now you can color in the hat i think coloring it in black is going to kind of help the aesthetic they were really cool and i also got followed later on by uh the the members of das racist they retweeted and uh followed my comic about them which was also very based love those guys no longer together but still cool how are we looking here i would also color in the well if you guys are like you know if you guys have actual colored pencils you don't have to color this in black it's really supposed to be like brown. You know, I don't want to worry about it. Oh, if you guys hear my dog, I'm gonna have to tell her to shoot it in a second. All right. Heisen Heisenbara complete. Can you hear the dog? Do coffee bars have tails? Oh God, I don't know. I figured they have little ones. Do they? Let's look it up. I think it's how I drew it. Like, I think it's, uh, really little. Maybe smaller than even how I drew it, but pretty, they're there. They're there. Don't think so? Uh Uh-oh. Alright, guys. If you haven't drawn... Pukaki Bars ain't got no tails? Alright, if you haven't drawn it yet, don't draw it. If you have drawn it... What can I say? I'm sorry, guys. I should have pulled up a reference image. Beetle Moses misinformation mark? Um, Alright, let's draw Jesse Pinkman. This freaking dog, man. Show dog. Let me get the dog. I'll be right back. I'm going to get the dog. <laughs> She's very stinky. What do you guys think? She's a celebrity now. <laughs> oh, God. She's funny. I think she's going to stop barking now. All right. 
Yeah, she's a, she is very scrungly. Lucy is her name. She's wandering out of my room now. Alright, no more barking, please. Enough of that. Beetle Moses, what do I do if my capybara is frog shaped? They are kind of frog shaped, so it sounds like. It's pretty. It sounds like you did a good job. We'll take a look when we're done with the stream. What time is it anyway? God damn, time is flying. We've already been on here like an hour. Alright. Ready? Will Beetle see this pole? I saw it. <laughs> Alright, ready? Let's go on to Jesse. Now to make to make sure that there's room for both of them. Oh, maybe we're gonna edit this a little bit so that he's facing the camera. What will that look like? Hang on, I just gotta plot it out. <laughs> this isn't how I drew it on the thing, but Yeah, that works. Does that still track? Yeah, because then it fits better. Alright. Let me show you guys how to do it. Okay. This way you get... It's a little bit more like... <laughs> that is the best thing I've ever seen. Alright. It's, uh, that way it's also a little bit more practice because we're drawing them at two different angles but I'm gonna let me move over so I'm not blocking anything here okay all right we're gonna do this is just the snout so make sure it's fairly low right keep it on the same plane as this nose also another rounded rectangle but you can actually close this one off Imagine if Daft Punk did a face reveal, but it's two copy parts. That's good. They are so scrungly. Rounded rectangle. Remember to keep it round. And then, beep, little nosy. And then their bottom lip is pretty much just another little oval shape across the bottom. Like that. Give copy Jesse a blunt. Okay, optional, he can be smoking a blunt. Which looks like that. They, uh, if you want to draw a blunt, here, hey guys, quick quick tutorial on drawing a blunt. It's basically a, a rectangle, one line at the end to show that it's lit, and then some sideways lines to show that it's a wrap. And then if you draw a little cl bumpy cloud shapes, it looks like it's being chiefed. If you want, this is optional to include in the mouth of Jesse Pinkman, but I think it's gonna get a little in the way in my drawing, so I'm not going to include it in mine. But please, I love when you guys do little variations, because that also shows me, when you guys do little variations on your own, that also shows me that you're thinking creatively, right? You're thinking laterally about how this is gonna work, not just copying mine frame by frame. Okay, ready? One eye, the other eye. Wolf pack shirts, yeah, we'll see what we can fit on them. Even if not, all my additions improve. Even if not all my additions improve it, they're nice to add. Yeah, I love doing the, I love when you guys do like little variations. Check it out, just over the eyes. You can keep pretty low. That's where his beanie would go. Curvy shape. Very slight curve. Line up, but it's not... I didn't even do a straight line, right? Straight line is okay, but look. You want to show some dimension to the beanie. This is the roll of the beanie, so give it a little bit more of a curve. Outwards, outward. Parentheses looking. That is Walter White as a capybara. And then a curve across the top. Okay. Two little ears, which are just beep, upside down use, beep. You don't have to make that noise when you do it, but it does help. I usually do that even when I'm alone. T 
top of the beanie. Beep. <laughs> you know what song I was listening to today? Oh my god. What the hell? I, I can't remember who sings this one. It was playing, it played in some meme. And I was like, you know what? It, you know when you hear a song in a meme and it's like being used ironically, but you're actually like, damn, the song kind of rides. It was a, oh, what are the fucking lyrics? When the lights don't stop it, da, 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 <laughs> what is that song? Can somebody tell me? Ellie Goulding. That's one of those names that you hear and you're like, wait, what? Who is that? Why do I know that name? What did she sing? I can't play it. I was going to play it on stream, but I feel like it. Lights. And when the lights don't stop it, just real I was packing up a bunch of prints today and I was just listening to that song. Okay, ready? Across the beanie, I'm also going to put these little lines. More dimension. Remember to keep them kind of curvy, right? Not just straight lines. Give them a little dimension. Let them flow. That song rides. I don't care what anybody says. But does anybody hate that? Everybody loves that song. <laughs> he almost looks like a monkey. I know he does kind of look like... Caviar kind of look like monkeys. All right, before you copy me, let me just... Before you copy bar of me. <laughs> I'm going to just... Let me make sure that this looks right. <laughs> yeah, I want to keep him kind of... All right. They look like moments. All right, it's basically... How can I describe this? It's just two parentheses shapes right on top of each other, but they're very slight, right? I'm not doing, I'm not, it's not this, although that looks funny too. He's kind of chubby, but I would say this and then the bottom one goes out a little bit more. And if you can manage to make it one shape, one line, and then the other one going the other way, just bump, bump two yeah stretchy e almost like a three backwards three but elongated elongated okay when the lights don't stop it do, do, do. mine is looking chunky mine too okay now, I think about how we're going to do this. Because I drew this one at this, like, you know, sideways angle. I have to kind of picture in my head how we're going to do the jacket. But I think basically, I would say a third of the way up on each of these bottom, like, bumps, you're going to start, you're going to create a line that goes in on each side. Mine looks like a camel. They kind of look like camels. They kind of look like frogs. They kind of look like camels. What can I say? Yeah, right? Now, here's an important thing. I know I've, me I've mentioned this on, like, one of, definitely one before, but this is, I'm going to show you guys a cheat code. It's really not hard, and once you get comfortable with it, it's going to actually, I swear, if you are like a cartoonist especially, it's really going to improve all of your drawings. Because <laughs> it did that for me. I use it all the time. All right? It's maybe not immediately super easy, but I think it's going to help. When we draw, we're going to draw his jacket sleeve, but we're not going to draw it like this, right? I mean, that looks fine, but I prefer drawing clothing, especially when Jesse Pinkman, or a character like that, is wearing baggy clothing. I like to emphasize how baggy it is because it makes it less important what the, it makes it look more interesting and it makes it less important what the actual underlying line work looks like. So when I'm drawing this, it's actually... J's and L shapes. And you can really feel free 
Make like three of them. You can make them however you want. And then a little rectangle at the bottom. See how they're just intersecting? And the fun part is that it really doesn't matter what they look like. When we're doing clothing, I prefer not to draw straight lines. I prefer to make them look, I'm gonna do the whole thing over again. See how like goofy it can look? And it doesn't matter. It kind of looks like he's been hitting the gym. But once we close in everything, it'll look like a jacket. See how, like, I'm seriously just screwing around? But it doesn't matter because it's just... It gives it a little bit more, like, energy and flow. Even if yours doesn't look exactly like mine. I know some of you guys like to draw very closely, but I'm really encouraging you. This is a good opportunity because there's really no wrong answer. This is a good opportunity for you to try your own shapes and just make them intersecting. It's basically L's intersecting with J's and curves. Got it? And then his little foot at the bottom, which I'm just making like that. It's just a W. Bump, bump, bump. That is pure drip. Small but chunky. Now, this from his neck, I'm actually going to bring it down in a curve again it's just clothing so it doesn't matter if the curves look exactly like mine it's just wrinkly and back up just connecting from each of these little cheeks and basically ultimately I'm making a V shape but I'm going wiggle wiggle See how that just gives it a little bit more energy than just drawing the straight line? And you do the same thing on the other side too. The only important thing is to make sure that it, the feet line up, right? Your just extremities need to end up in the same place. But the lines that you use to get there don't matter so much because it's just clothing. Rectangle at the bottom, half rectangle rather. Was that the worst explanation ever, or do you guys feel like you're having a good time? This is dope. You got it? I'm feeling it. Let's go. I'm going to just make a curve across the middle of this V here for the t-shirt. Swag. See that? Basically just connected the t-shirt. Plucked up the zipper, but not awful. All right, that's all right. And the bottom of the jacket, honestly, you could just pretty much just make it a curve, really. Another curve across the bottom. But leave room because this is actual his actual bottom, right? Bottom of the jacket, actual bottom on the floor. Two curves. Dick <laughs> like meth. I know, maybe I think like Certainly the shirt is up for interpretation if you want to uh, <laughs> put something on there.
Maybe like here, I'll zoom, I'll zoom in on mine. Definitely put whatever you want. I mean, honestly, like the authentic Jesse Pinkman would be like a skull. Which, if you want to draw, like, whoops, if you want to draw that, that's basically, uh, I mean, I'll show you guys an easy skull. A C on its side, basically. Three bumps. U. Circle. Circle. That's a skull. You do that. Weed leaf, that's always an option. I'm pretty sure he does do that on one. That's just this, basically. I don't really actually know how to draw a weed leaf. That looks like a weed leaf. Sans Undertale? Whoops. Ah! Uh. Oh, this is what I was gonna do. I. Heart. And then I'm gonna make this meth pipe. I heart meth. <laughs> but again, feel free to whatever tickles your fancy, right? It doesn't really have to be. It doesn't have to be that. Yo, <laughs> wholesome. <laughs> Dude, that is so wholesome, Chungus. All right, ready? Shirts that go hard. Oh my god, I blocked that account so long ago. Because they stole... They didn't steal it from Yolo Swag, but they did something. They, like, reposted one of Yolo Swag's t-shirts and cropped his face out. And then, like, a and then like a million people were like, where do I get it? And all these t-shirt bots swarmed in, and it, like, could have been, like, a giant, like, sales opportunity for Yolo Swag, but he basically just got, like, dicked and, like... And I was like, you know what, I'm blocking this fucking account. I don't want them seeing my shit or anything. Yeah, the basketball up my ass one. That account sucks. I know they do post some funny shit sometimes, but you gotta stay... Dude, you gotta run a mile from those meme pages, man. They just don't... They do not... Most of them just do not care. Just, con like, content farming, taking shit from people. Doesn't even matter. Look how I'm like... Dude, I'm telling you. He was pissed about it at the time. Now it's like, whatever. I mean, that was like six months ago. It was like water under the bridge. But when it happened, I was like, dude, I'm blocking this account. Uh. Okay, see how I added those little wrinkles under the hood? Wrinkle, wrinkle. And then... little curve for his leg hook shape it's one thing to repost but to remove the signature and stuff is scummy dude there is no end to what some meme pages will do man it's like every other day that somebody tags me on a post of some meme page with like a million followers and they cropped out my name or something. Like, how many times am I going to go chasing around people with like a rolled up magazine? Like, hey, tag me in this shit. It's like, they don't care. Nine, nine times out of ten, it's like, no offense if anybody's like, you know, a younger person watching this, but it's usually a younger person. It's usually like a 14, 15 year old person that's like running this account. They don't care. They don't care about they, they don't care about credit. They don't have there's no especially like here check it out also curb bump 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 bump. Especially in like the line of work, so to speak that it is, I mean I am busting my ass so it is work. But like the type of art that I make and that Yolo Swag makes, unfortunately, it's like I'm working on it, and it's art, right? But they're also memes. 
And once something become hits like the meme sphere, people forget that somebody created it. And I mean, I do it all the time too. I see memes like all the time that I repost and without thinking. You know what I mean? It's a blessing and a curse because on one hand, it's like you know, you like that Joker sitting on a pencil comic, which is one that I'm kind of like infamous for, went you know stupid sicko mode on twitter it did some insane amount of likes circulated on reddit instagram everywhere but now here i am chasing around these like you know stupid mobile game companies with a stick telling them like hey i drew this bro you cannot use it for your ad if you're not going to pay me you know what i mean nobody's thinking on the internet it's still the wild west nobody's thinking about it I think that one is why I started following you. It was definitely a big one. That was one that I, like... By the way, look, I'm doing more of this foldy, doesn't matter type clothing for the rest of the jacket. And then the leg on the other side. It was one that did... I think it did, like, 200K on Twitter. Some insane otherworldly numbers. You know what I mean? Which is awesome. Right? I gained, like... You know, like Havoc Pigeon said, I probably gained a lot of followers from that, which is sick. But it's also a whole other thing. It also becomes, like, now Now people also feel like, you know, let me just use, oh, somebody, they don't think somebody drew this. They think, oh, I found this on Reddit, you know. It's whatever. I mentioned this before, somebody, this person was very sweet, right? They can't, oh, by the way, I'm adding some, like, fur. See, I'm adding a little bit of, like, lines for hair on these guys. I got off stream, like, a couple weeks ago, and I had, like, like four or five messages from this one person that they were just like, I am so sorry, I posted this comic, I reposted, I don't even remember what it was, I reposted this comic on my Twitter, and people were saying to credit you, and I feel so bad, I found it on Facebook, I didn't think about that you would be here, or something like that, like, it was like, they were all apologetic and whatever, like that. And I was like, it's okay, it's okay. I don't care. If my art is circulating and other people are sharing, like, what am I going to be like? Hey, credit me. Credit me. I only feel that way about companies. I only got pissy with that video game uh, mobile ad company, mobile app company. Because I'm like, guys, you were using my shit for an advertisement. It's one thing that's just like, oh, hey, I thought this was funny and share it, you know what I mean? I'm not going to chase around everybody who sends one of my memes to their group chat and doesn't credit me. It's stupid. <laughs> but it's just it's just that these guys used it for an ad. It's like, bro. What kind of business are you running here? Alright, I'm now going to write. C. A. Put the square around it. P. Y. B. A. Square. R A Copy Barra. Yeah, mobile game stole my stuff from that. Yeah, they like they like used my thing and they like put their whole thing on it. My grandma printed your meme and hung it on her fridge. Please tell it to her Hey! Beatles on his way to break into your house, you shared his meme to your best friend. I know it's like, dude, I want that. I want my shit to circulate. And I really only I only post to Twitter and Instagram. I don't post to Reddit. I don't post to Facebook. So if they make it to those other platforms, it's great. It's free advertisement for me, right? I don't have to post to those other places because I don't like. Eh, I don't want to go on Reddit. I don't want to go on Facebook. So if they make it over there, it's great. I saw the fucking Mr. Krabs one that I drew the other day. Was on Reddit. It, it did like it like broke some stupid amount of numbers on Reddit. And I was like, great, that's awesome. Mr. Beetle Moses, may I please ask a quick question? Absolutely. Whoa! Stuffle Waffle! Thank you for the subscription! That's what's up! Uh. Thank you. I also need to... It's, t it's almost time for us to... Whoa! I don't go on Reddit. goes on Reddit anyways. I know somebody did... One of, one of my friends in my group chat linked me. They're like, yo... You're, you're trending on, like, Bikini Bottom Twitter or something like that. And I was like, oh, sick. And I went over there and had, like, 50,000 likes on Reddit or fucking updutes. I was like, oh, my God. 
And then I commented on there with my Beetle Moses, like, I have a Beetle Moses, like, Reddit account. <laughs> That's so stupid. And I commented on it, and I was like, whoever drew this must be a real sick bastard. And I got, like, downvoted into oblivion. I was like, shut the fuck up. I'm like, dude, I fucking drew it. I hate Reddit. <laughs> Reddit. Reddit alert. Uh... I wanted, if I wanted Jesse Barr to say something, I wanted to add a pseudo speech bubble, how would I do it? Alright, this is not like a closed bubble, but something to show speech. Great question. Phenomenal question. Cheat code. Cheat code. Honestly, I really like my drawing. Oh my god, I almost just cried. I love hearing that. If you want him to say something, okay, this is actually an important lesson, whether or not you're going to draw a uh, speech bubble around it whether or not always write the text first you never start with a bubble and then write the text inside because I guarantee you will run out of room okay always write the text first yo mr. white if you don't want to draw a speech bubble right just make a line that's it Few rules about speech bubbles. Not that I wrote the book on speech bubbles, but I'll tell you from my experience. For one thing, speech bubbles, they're tough. When you're, draw when you're drawing them, you pretty much have to include in, your draw in the framing of your drawing where the speech bubble is going to go. Because a lot of the time, especially if it's wordy, even if it's not wordy, it's going to take up almost the same amount of room as your character. Like the face of your character so it needs and it needs to be big enough to be legible so in this case this is not a great space for me because the other rule personal rule is that speech bubbles always go over something in the scene people items they're they are above the action Obviously, there are exceptions to this rule. There are plenty of ways that you can do it and be creative. But in general, just basic standard, when you're doing speech bubbles, they're always going to go over the action. So you need to keep that in mind because when you draw it like this, for example, it still works. But isn't there, the, isn't it kind of this weird thing that when you do this, that this falls to the back and it doesn't call your attention as much? You need your words to the words, if you're including words at all, they're going to be important. So they should always be superseding the subject, right? Of course, you can always frame it to make sure that nothing is being overlapped. I use pencil. If I need more room, I would just erase part of it and make the speech bubble better to make more room for the words. That's great. I do that too, of course. But to give myself an idea for how big the speech bubble is, I'm always going to write the words first. Now, when you don't want to draw a bubble, which you don't have to, in a pinch, a line works just fine. Seriously. Translates, it's fine. It still doesn't draw as much attention, right? If there was like a really important piece of dialogue, I probably wouldn't frame it this way. But in this case, no big deal. The other thing is that lines in a speech bubble or just like this you never have to be concerned with them actually going to the mouth of the character doesn't matter if it is just pointing at the character generally it's more than enough and it looks way cleaner never has to be coming out of the mouth in fact I can either be like here I am the one who pulls up I can even draw it on this side. His mouth is all the way over here. And I can draw the line here and you still know he's saying it. So never, you should never worry about it actually reaching the mouth. It just has to generally be directed at the guy. Cool. All right, guys, what is our second drawing gonna be? We went kind of slow with this one. It wasn't super complicated, but can't believe how long we've been streaming already but doesn't matter i'm ready to i'm feeling invigorated i'm ready to stream the next drawing so what's it gonna be
What do you guys think? Mossy Green? I know not everybody can see it, but I can. First time chatter. Welcome. Minecraft Creeper Who Can't Lift. I wanted to do something original and we ended up writing the same thing. Oh really? I am the one who put up lives. Well, Alright. Joe Biden taking a piss out of you. <laughs> Parody of the Nightfly album cover. Hmm. Dwarf Snowman Striptease. I gotta go, Mr. Beetle. Thank you so much for popping in. I understand. I know it's getting late for some of you guys. Uh, please post these on... If you're posting these on Twitter or you're sending them to me, you know I'm gonna retweet it and stuff, so... Send it to me. Post it. Something with a whale fall. I love whale fall humor. Hmm. Grim Reaper hanging out with a dog. It's kind of cute. Japanese salary man with a JoJo stand. That sheet cake with the shitty Drake icing picture. That is such a funny picture. Something with a two seat bike. Thank you for the stream of Brand My Day. Thanks. I like the two seat bike. Bikes are kind of hard to draw though. Shitting toothpaste. <laughs> oh, God. I'm thinking. I just need something that we're all going to be able to draw together. Um, drunk dwarf wearing three crowns. That's pretty funny. Would love to see some awuga cartoony eyes popping out on a character. That's funny. I was thinking about drawing something like that. Chuck E. Cheese on a toilet. The computer scene. I was thinking about drawing something like a, some cartoony like expression. Mm hmm. Banana slipping on a banana peel. What about a banana slipping on a human that's like lying down? Is that good? Is that stupid? Uh, that's pretty good. A frog getting kicked in the balls and his eyes pop out. Joe Biden, big eyes at Israel. That's pretty good. What if it's human skin? Yeah, it's gross. John Cena doing a backflip. All right, let me open up a new thing. Let me, let's see. Jerry boarding. Jerry waterboarding Tom. Jesus. What should I draw, man? All these are good ideas. I'm just like, it's nothing. Nothing's really clicked. Maybe we'll draw something to go in the other way. Some someone deaf needs to get kicked in the balls. All right, get your new papers yet. Agent 47 related. Um, Goku? Kicked up early. Two possums on a bike. That's cute. I'd probably frame my paper the other way. Two hermit crabs getting married. Twitter kicking Elon in the balls. That needs to happen. Uh, some humanoid shapes. All right, let's draw something humanoid. Damn, everybody really wants like uh, the ball getting hit in the balls humor. All right, a sloth giving another sloth a haircut. That's pretty funny. Hmm. What is Ancient 47? Am I missing something? Alright. Who is Agent 47? The dude from the Hitman. Oh, the Hitman games. Should I just draw should we just draw one guy getting kicked in the balls by another guy? That'd be some like you know, anatomy. And we can kind of make it like Hitman if you want. Just one guy kicking the other guy in the balls. The bald Hitman dude with the barcode tattoo on his neck. 
cow tools. Do you hear this freaking dog? Detailed balls. All right. I'm deciding right now. We're going to draw... What about a... What about like a really hard looking like badass rabbit? And he's like chiefing a carrot. that smoking a carrot what do you think of that is that cool Kind of make him a little like. Oh my god, this freaking dog. Does that go hard? Alright, let's draw something like that. Yeah. The the bunny sopranos. Some, there's something there. Rawer than a kerrigan pulled up from the ground. All right, here's how we're going to start. Start with the sunglasses. Line across. The ears are a pompadour. Line across. Two bumps. If you make the first one smaller than the second one, it gives it the illusion. Tell my dog to shut up. Gives it the illusion of some an angle. I had to just give her the eye. I didn't bring her. I didn't bring her back on. So good. <laughs> okay. Rabbit. All right. Ready? Now, little triangle nose. Learning to draw with Beetle Moses. Ready? This shape, it's basically an S, right? On its side. Okay. From the nose, to the mouth like that. We're not drawing the full body, by the way. We'll draw like the bust. Because that way you can have room and you can be like, you know. I know I said I was out. Or I would change. But I'm back to my old ways. Bust. Alright, so if you want to give yourself some room to write some very, like, epic caption, please do. Okay, do you guys have this so far? Ready? Me too. Just a C shape for the other lip. C shape, connecting at the bottom of the sunglasses all the way to the middle of the lip. Beetle Moses from Tweeter. Born to shit. Forced to wipe. And if that don't resonate with you, I got nothing else to say. I already drew some shit in Procreate today, so I'm resting now. That's good.
The whole point of this is just to draw, but if you've already drawn today, then you're in the clear. We're just chilling. Rectangle. And a line in the middle for the buck teeth. Now, the way that I'm going to do the hand, all right, so watch how I do it first. I'm going to show you the full, let me show you the finished drawing so you can just see what it's going to look like. Okay. There's two fingers, all right, third finger. Carrot. Last finger. Alright. So we're going to start with that foremost finger. Give yourself enough room for that whole shebang. Just an upside down U. Oh, that's good. She asked if I still care. Bitch, I never care at all. Oh... Up <laughs> my dick. Oh my god, that's funny. It's so stupid. I cannot wait to see that one. <laughs> it's so stupid. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> okay. That just tickled me for some reason. Another curve all right balls nuts even two curves right on top once a grower never a shower another bump but this one add a little you know a little stank on it because it's a open finger and he's Lola asked if I give a shit. I told her I only shit. <laughs> These are getting a little bit more uh, unhinged. They're getting a little less coherent as time goes on. You guys got this? Two fingers, three fingers. Do you guys know that, like, uh, really badass? dude uh who smokes the cigars and he was like posting to reddit it's like that really badass looking guy hang on he's like taking pictures of himself in his car badass cigar guy he's gonna show up no these are all stock photos does anybody know what I'm talking about? I see that image posted all the time. You either Bugs Bunny or you Cub Bunny. Why do they call it an oven when you off the cold food of out hot eat the food? Is that the guy that reviews cars? I have no idea. Maybe that is if that's his claim to fame, that's hilarious. Alright, small line in towards the teeth, not all the way. Yeah, the black dude with the sunglasses and the beard. And he wears, like, one of those, like, newsboy hats, too. Dude, he looks like such a fucking baller. Back off. I know karate. I feel like I'm losing my mind. C. Shape. And then a line out. connect these right another line out see how like also I'm kind of angling the line so it's creating a little bit of a cone shape that we would recognize you know as a carrot in the middle here we're going to draw this elongated C shape which becomes the stem of the carrot see when we curve it I know my camera is about to block this, but it's. I think we'll be okay. Wait, actually, no, I'll just move it anyway. Or bad. 
Somebody sent this in my P.O. box. Nobody owned up to it. I don't know who it was, but, uh, like, amazing gift. Unbelievable gift. It's from my Banksy cartoon. But now this, the, this part of the carrot is, basically I'm making kind of like an upside down uh, teardrop shape. Roughly, but just bumps all the way around. Bump, 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 bump. See that? And then with a carrot, you make lines, but you don't make them all the way connecting. Just curve, 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 curve. Banks, he would unironically make NFTs. That's real. Now, the bottom part of his lip, I'm making just this little curve that goes around. I have no clue who Banksy is. You're better off. Teeth. Oh, and then I gotta make the other finger, which is peeking out the side. So, where this finger ends, V shape, make it going up. Bump at the top. Coming back down. C shape, which is the palm, the side of his palm. As a kid, I used to see raw carrot and say, what's up, Doc? I thought it was the funniest thing in the history of the universe. It still is. And then the other side of the hand, you're going to create this bump, which is kind of his thumb folded over, connecting to the finger. Now, for the sake of this, I'm just going to connect the hand here. Right. If you wanted to draw, if you want to draw the whole thing, you can make his arm and whatever. But that's a little bit involved. So we're just gonna make the face and hand. Okay. Bottom lip peeking out. Oh, sneaky turtles! Subscribe with Prime. Thank you. Thank you. Damn, we got a bunch of subs this stream. Let's go. Love you guys. And then the lip coming around this way. Yo! Now that I finally figured out... Oh, this is what I was going to say Like at the beginning of the stream. My mod advised me because I had these other... I had these other... Uh, emotes that I had been trying to upload. Like I literally uploaded them three weeks ago and they're still pending 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 and my uh how long until the stream ends and eh, when the drawing ends we'll probably chill a little bit longer and then it'll be done uh my my mod advised me he was like maybe it's because you're using photos of real people and that's why it's pending maybe if you use your own drawings it'll do its own thing and i was like that's a good point let me try it Anyway, I had this I had this drawing on deck, of course, of the Beetle Moses as uh, calling Dorcia. Put it in the thing, and uh, yeah, it worked right away. So I think the reason that the other ones are not working are is exactly what he said. All right, top brow is just a little bump right here. So anyway, the next stream, maybe even by before the Wednesday one, I'll upload a few more, so we have like you know, two or three that we can all boogie with. Okay. Well, let's, I'm gonna give him some spiky hair because that just looks badass. A little bit more of the head shape, curve. And now let's do, let's see, how am I going to do the ears? Ears are going to be bent backwards a bit, all right? <laughs> I love those, like, with the American Psycho one. 
But that's what I mean. Is that one is using a photo? How'd you get that? The other thing is actually I do have a lot more uh, emotes available if you have the what do you call it plugin? What's it called? I'm blanking. Uh, better TTV. Yeah, if you have the better TTV plugin, I have a bunch of more. I have like the Pepe's and like Chad. BTTV. If you have that plugin on your browser, you'll see when you log in on my Twitch that you can use. You have a little bit more freedom. Yeah, there it is. There you go. Just like that. Duke Nukem Rabbit. All right. Big curve. All the way to here. So it's basically just a U shape, but with a little lip at the end. He's gonna have a mohawk, that's fine. Very fresh. Next to the ear, we're gonna do another curve, but it's gonna end here. All right, curve to here. At the middle of this one, it intersects down and up. So I do that down and up. And then curvy triangle for the Ear. See how see how we just added that dimension? That was a little bit difficult. Did everybody just follow that? Are you guys still drawing? Are you guys drawing this? Or am, are you just watching me while I explain? I just had a funny thought that I was just like doing all this. Just watching. Okay, you're drawing. Okay, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Cool, cool, cool. Just wanted to make sure. Good, good, good. All right. I was just thinking, like, I'm going really slow through all this. I tried to draw it. We're supposed to follow along. Wait, wait. That's all right. Wednesday. I would add a little bit of, like, a curve for the other side of his lip, by the way. See that? How it adds a little bit more dimension. Curve. Bring up back of his head. You can even add some more. See, I added some more hair back there. Or you just close it up. Kind of the same either way. Even give it a little, maybe going the other way. V, V, V. And now we're going to do the other ear. It's going to look pretty much identical to this ear. So, curve. To here, intersect. Now remember what I told you guys at the very beginning, maybe some of you guys joined in late. When I'm drawing things, I want you to look at my thing as a reference, but yours may not look exactly like mine. Your ear may be going out farther, it may be bigger, it may be smaller. So don't get too caught up in trying to make sure that this line connects from here to here. Think about what your ear needs to look like to basically look like the same size and shape as this other one. It may not connect exactly the way mine connects, but just take that extra second to think about where does this need to go? How can I make this, how is this gonna look right in my drawing? Okay. Let's see. All right. Another curve, not all the way connected. And a curve at the bottom. Intersected at the middle of that second one. Down 
and over. Now again, mine is gonna, mine would peek out of here, but yours might look a little different. Yeah, we're gonna do the reflection on the glasses, don't worry. I'll show you in a sec. Let's just finish up this ear. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Excuse me, guys. Draw the little lines for the inside of the ear. Thank you, thank you guys, thank you. All right, ears are good. Here's how the sunglasses. When I draw sunglasses, I pretty much always draw them like this, where I draw two line, two straight lines going across at a diagonal angle. And that's the shine, because then I fill in on the sides like that. Fire in them is sick. I mean, all right, obviously you have like options, right? You can do other stuff. <laughs> what do you think of that? Kind of fire, right? Oh, dollar signs? Blaze it. God, dollar signs are getting hard to draw. I'm dying. This is crazy. I don't remember them being this hard to draw. When's the last time I drew a dollar sign? Jeez, man. I don't even know how I would show you guys how to do that. I want to advise you not to do dollar signs just based on how difficult that was for me. <laughs> they still didn't even really come out great. Yeah. Looks good. I mean, yeah, you can do the, of course it's just that. I think it was just drawing it in 3D. Like when I'm drawing an S, it looks like that. But when I had to draw the dollar sign in bubble letters, I was like, wait, the line goes here and then it goes there. And that goes there. And that goes there, and that there, and that there. But you really don't get a lot of control of the shape. That was, that was a rough go. Obviously, if you're using colored pencils, you could just do that, or markers, right? You could just do that. It's a lot easier. Just on digital, it made it hard for me. Another sad reality of capitalism, right? Well, I guess, isn't the euro look like that? It's pretty easy. Let's see how hard that is to do. Let's say this is a uh, British British rabbit. Ah, that looks horrendous. <laughs> oh god! All right, what else does this need? Let's give it like one more thing. You know, I I, I would probably do that also. I mean, well, it depends how you're gonna color it in, but from the nose. You can give them these two little curves that lead up into the sunglasses and then another curve that connects to that back lip. Right. Earring, earring is good. I mean, you kind of have to erase. If you have the option, I know I'm drawing, we're, we're using pen, so I don't know if you guys can fit this, but normally what I would do is I would erase here you just need one little spot to do it. And I'm making basically just a U line, bigger U. That's it. Black earring. I mean, yeah, if you do it black, 
obviously you could do that and it goes right over the line it still looks pretty hard oh yeah he needs an eyebrow right like that like the arching eyebrow it's basically a like lightning bolt shape you can make it a little rounder than that though and when you do that so it's this s shape and at the top give him another little line let's see okay i know how whoa i know i asked you last time about your hair and you said you use anti-frizz curling product but which no i don't even use any of that but which specific hair product do you use for the life of me i can't figure out how my my curls to be a texture shape like that all right here's the thing my hair is kind of wacky right i have really thick coarse frizzy hair i straight up just use hair gel i use like crew hair gel and that's it hop out of the shower hair's still wet gel and then it just cur and then this is it this is how it looks when it dries hair gel that's it you want me to show you they're not paying me for this ad space but right here baby that's it that's it just this one firm hold uh, that's it send me pictures of your hair after you use it again I have really thick hair so if you have like different types of hair you may have it may not work for you but there you go that's all I got um all right, guys. I mean, I would love to see. I think that what this drawing is missing, the only thing to complete it is you color it in, and I think to add a top text and a bottom text, but I'm leaving it completely open-ended. This shit. Let me click the link. I'm going to tell you right now if that's it. Firm hold. That looks like it. Firm hold styling gel. <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, yeah, this is it. That's it. Alcohol free prevents flaking. Yeah, that's the big thing. You gotta get, if, you, if this one doesn't work for you in general, the gel that you want to use is going to have no flake. Because I hate a hair gel that when it, when it dries, it gets all flaky. This one does not do that. Can you draw Gustavo Fring pregnant with Lalo Salamanca's baby? Maybe on the next stream. How would you recommend doing whiskers? Uh, easy enough. I would just... Am I not getting it? Why can't I control Z this shit? Oh, I'm in the wrong tab. That's why. Whiskers, I would just do... I would keep them small. Right? Especially on this side, you don't want it to interfere with the mouth or the lips. So I would just little, little things like that. Anyway, since we're at the end of the stream, I know people are going to start logging off. I got to plug all my shit real quick. First of all, thank you. Obviously, thank you so much to everybody who was watching today. Everybody who subscribed. Everybody who followed. If you've been watching but you haven't followed me, I'd really appreciate a follow on Twitch. Um... Thank you to everybody who subscribed, everybody who's supporting me. I have a tip jar in my bio. I have the YouTube link in my bio, which is going to... Oh! HFANG22! Uh, thank you so much for the sub. If you guys tweet these out, I'm going to retweet them. Not only is it super fun, it helps me out because it lets more people know about the stream, which is great. I just want to keep doing these because I have so much fun. The next one is going to be... Uh, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard on Wednesday. We do these every Monday, Wednesday, Eastern, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard. Going to try to hit it on a Friday in an afternoon, too, so that some of our European uh, listeners can join in as well. Uh, if you want to support me further, obviously, you can also... I have I still have prints and stickers. I'd love to mail them out. You can get them at beetlemoses.bigcartel.com. Follow me on Twitter, follow me on Instagram, Beetle Moses, at Beetle Moses, follow me on YouTube, at Beetle Moses. I also have a Patreon, a joint Patreon with my co-host, 
and boyfriend, he's not really my boyfriend, but he's kind of my business boyfriend, Yolo Swag Studios. He's extremely funny. If you join our Patreon, which is patreon.com slash coldcuts, I'll drop it in here, patreon.com slash coldcuts, you get early access to Beetle Comics, early access to Yolo Comics, you get bonus episodes of our podcast. Uh, and you get invited to the Cold Cuts Discord, which basically means you have a direct line of communication with both of us. And there's a great community in there right now. A lot of them are in the chat here, too. Super cool, super funny. We play Jackbox and Gardic Phone and all that stuff. It's a great community. We'd love to have you in there. Um, I think that's it. That's all the plugs. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. Can't wait to see your drawings. Love you, love you, love you. See you Wednesday. Love you, love you, love you. See you Wednesday.